so I don't know how many how many times I've seen Sharknado, but every time I have seen Sharknado, I think to myself, there is a serious message behind <laughs> there is a serious message behind this. Yeah. And finally we we have evidence that yes indeed, there is a serious message behind Sharknado. How does one create something so original as this? You know, we just felt it was time that the world was stop, alerted stop, to the... Stop, 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 stop. How does someone come up with something as original as this? That's a great question. That's a, sharks being sucked up, sucked up in a, in a tornado, tornado and then dropped on New York. Yeah. Now, well, I, think, um, I think the way you do that is that you never lose the nine-year-old boy in you. Mm-hmm. If you're a nine-year-old boy, you're like, you know, it'd be cool is if it started to rain sharks. <laughs> That's how you come up. You never grew up. You never grew up. That's how. Perils of global is. warming and biometeorology. So stop, it's just a matter stop, of... Stop, stop. Yeah, start from the beginning. Yes, you have yes. to understand the seriousness <laughs> message behind Sharknado. How does one create something so original as this? You know, we just felt it was time that the world was alerted to the perils of global warming and biometeorology. So oh. it was just a matter of doing our research and getting the facts out to everybody. Because this can happen. That's a funny response. Actually. Absolutely, yeah. it could happen. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Think, hey, now, I think he's, I think he, he's kidding. Yeah. I think is he, he is. I, think I he's hope kidding. he is. I, I She's hope, laughing. I hope he's spoofing on the boneheads who, who are throwing out this global okay, here's what we do Tom. you see if we can get him on the air and let's have uh, a serious, serious discussion, discussion about how sharknados could actually happen and see if he'll come on and present some of the science with us some of the concerns that he has of, uh, <laughs> i mean i think he's illustrated many of them as two major cities i know well, i would like to things i would like to here i would like i would like to i would like to further this with him okay I, I would like him to come on and 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 tell us and he's coming into a very very friendly room that can't wait to hear the serious message that he is trying to get across with, and you know, it I is think a it would be a very message. no. I think you he's... know it is when when the name of the movie is Sharknado Two, the second one. <laughs> you know, I got you know it's, it's serious. Sometimes sometimes titles can be a little redundant, uh huh. But sometimes titles can be a little redundant. Yeah, it's a good point. You know what yeah, I mean? It's a good point. Uh, Sharknado Two. The second the one. The second one. <laughs> <Funny. Yeah. laughs> now, you know, I'm sure, he, I, I don't know that he's this, like, uh, conservative uh, No, 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 and I'm not asking him to. I'm yeah. asking him to. I'm, I'm giving him like the to opportunity mm -hmm. to come fun. on and promote his movie. Mm -hmm. But we're interested in this. We're interested in the uh, global warming and... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and some people might say, look, the Sharknado talk is a little bit of a waste of time. Um, but at least we're not spending your tax dollars to do it, uh, like the National Weather Service, who actually employs uh, Christopher Vaccaro, who decided to comment in his official capacity on the Sharknado. While the tornado is spinning, a, a, in, is spinning air along the surface of the water, it's not necessarily like a vacuum where it is sucking up sharks or sucking up marine animals out of the depths of the ocean. So odds are the sharks wouldn't even be close enough to be entrained in the circulation of the water spout in any way, let alone would they be Sharknado lifted. Sharknado denier. Mm -hmm. He's a Sharknado denier. Let alone mm -hmm. would they be lifted because they weigh so much. <laughs> I mean, first of all, uh, idiots. I... There's, there's footage of this. We yeah. have two, Hello. at least two two-hour films showing it happen over and yeah. over and again. And I've seen tornadoes pick cars up. And yeah. throw them down yeah, the block. They don't have a problem picking up heavy things. Yeah. I yeah. Did Florida. you see the documentary on the Wizard of Oz? Picked up a whole house. Whole house. Whole dropped house. it on whole a witch. Mm -hmm. So please uh, yeah, tell him to shut up. It's like, what do you have to do? We, it's you can watch the footage on television. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember in that? Do you remember in that tornado? It picked up only that, not only the house, but it also picked up the three guys or two guys in the rowboat. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. And they were rowing. You think it could pick up the guys in the rowboat, but somehow or another it couldn't pick up the shark? Of course it could. Of course it could. Obviously it could. <laughs> Remember the cows floating around in, uh, what was the name of that movie? Twister. Twister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a little exercise for you. Go to the Statue of Liberty and see if it has a head.
If it has a head, then the Sharknado is not real. But the Sharknado uh, 2, the second one, decapitated watching, the Statue me, of Liberty me, me, last excuse night. Me, excuse me. 